guys, welcome to today's video, which has taken me ages to get round to. I do apologise, the world's gone mad. But today's video has two parts. It is the Palace Clutch Review, the video I've been promising for ages. I'm really excited to do this because this is a brilliant bag and I want to tell you all about it. And secondly, I did it again. Oops. Um, mini unboxing of SLG. Woo woo! Very excited. We'll come back to that in a bit. So, first of all, the review of my Palace Clutch. I have raved about this bag because I got it when I was on holiday for my 30th birthday back in November 2016. I bought it in Paris on the Champs Elysees and I bought it completely impulse kind of purchase because for my birthday, I like bags. We obviously went to the store and I hadn't planned to buy anything. I planned to just look around and then I thought, it's my birthday, I'm gonna get something. So I wanted something little and I wanted something functional. And more importantly, I'd taken a big bag away with me and I was getting tired lugging it around because I was filling it and I wanted something smaller that I could use as kind of a travel bag. And so this is what I got. So I looked at the favorite in the MM size, which I just thought was so pretty, uh, but I tend to overfill my bags. So I was worried about a magnetic closure, even though it is really strong. Uh, I just thought I'll always doubt myself and then I tried the Eva bag and it just didn't suit my curvy frame so I then went for this uh, which is the bag that the actual sales assistant was wearing and I've often seen these on sales assistants because they're really functional they're really good so mine is the black palace clutch so that means that this uh, I keep saying canvas but it is leather up here and the zipper area and the interior is black and the rest is canvas with the monogram print on it. So it's a beautiful little bag. It is kind of tapered from the top down to the bottom, uh, from the bottom up to the top. So as you can see, it has this lovely shape and it has the little LV hidden there, which I think is quite beautiful. I love with these bags, how deliberately made they are. So you expect that for the price. Uh, now, looking at the bag, you can see that it has this chain. So this chain is not fully detachable, but it does come off on one side like this. So you can remove it and clip it on here and make that into a clutch with a little wristlet. Or I tend to just leave it over there like that as a feature. Or if you don't have the crossbody on, you can use that on its own as a really comfortable little shoulder bag and that is super comfortable. It has tons of room on me, and as I keep saying, I am very curvy, um, so it is a nice, delicate bag, and the chain doesn't catch in my hair. I don't know why that's the case, but it is a nice chain. Your other strap da -da -da, is this. So this is a treated leather crossbody strap. It is kind of a standard length. You have no adjustability on this strap. If you have, say, a pochette matisse, where you get another strap with it that's already monogram, you could try that on this, which I think would be quite cute, but it does come with this strap. Now, when I first saw the strap, I was like, wow, I'm relieved that it's just treated. I'm just happy it's not Vachetta. Uh, but then when I've looked at it more and more, I keep thinking it doesn't even look like a Louis Vuitton strap because it is a different color to what I'm used to seeing. It isn't the Demi Era Ben Dark strap and it's not the Vachetta. It's just kind of this in-betweeny brown. It looks fine with the bag. And it does have the official LV strap, so it's not something that the sales assistant just doing there for funsies. Um, but yeah, it is just a little bit different. And it's quite a nice strap to have. I imagine I'll use it on other bags in the future. But uh, yeah, I think I was just a bit surprised by the strap. Uh, it is, should I tell you the drop, seeing as how it's non-adjustable. If I can get my tape measure to work. Look, I came prepared today. Um, the strap drop from the top. I'm this with tape measures. Come on. It's roughly 56 centimeters. Yeah, so it's not a massive drop, uh, but it's, I imagine that would suit most people. For me, cross body, it does irritate my boobs, not gonna lie, uh, but I tend to get around that by just hooking it under. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's quite a thin strap, so, so it is quite comfortable. It is an okay length on me. It sits on my hip on crossbody if I've got tons of layers on, which I tend to have when I'm traveling and a scarf and everything. Uh, it's probably not the most flattering drop on me, but I still like it. Uh, I think a tiny, tiny bit longer is a little bit nicer on myself, but just thin. Anyway, so I do tend to leave the gold chain on at all times like that because I think it looks beautiful and I don't see the point in just having it dangling at one side. Um, you have the little leather bits there 
on either side. And then in the middle, you do have the embossing where it just says Louis Vuitton Paris. It's beautiful. And then inside, you have basically got one compartment, two compartments, and then you've got your little leather stamp on there, which just says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. I got it in Paris, but it's made in Spain. I don't care really about that. And inside here, I don't know if it's picking up. I just have my little date code, which on the little black piece of leather with gold stamping. And on the outside, of course, you've got this part, which is camera. I've got a useless camera. I'm actually looking at buying a new one at the moment. So I have been watching a few YouTubers videos on what cameras they're using. So hopefully I have some new soon. Oh. Place I went in Switzerland, really nice bar actually, in Gestad. Um, you just have a big pocket there as well. So you've got three kind of areas in this bag where you can keep items. Uh, oh, the zip, the zip's gorgeous. So considering that this is a predominantly canvas bag, usually I find the hardware a little bit lacking on the canvas, but this is the beautiful kind of, it's not rounded off like some of my uh, Emperor bags, but it is kind of the nice shape and it is a really soft, lovely zip compared to some of my other bags that I have from Louis Vuitton. So I am really pleased with it. So if I just untangle that, I might just take the crossbody strap off. So of course, all your straps and things come with the beautiful, beautiful locks. I am a hardware lover. So yeah, you've got your usual little LV locks there. Um, so yeah, this is the bag. So I'll show you again, that drop is really nice. It, I think it's quite a flattering bag actually as a shoulder bag. It's not the way I tend to wear it, but uh, it is definitely a possibility if you're going out for an evening. So, how I use it. I use this predominantly as a travel bag because I put it in my keypole and then it's my document holder for when I'm going away. Then when I get out there during the day, it's my crossbody bag for shopping and doing what I like to do. And then in an evening, it's a shoulder bag for going out. It is an amazing little coverall bag. I absolutely adore it. Now, if I just compare it to this other item, which it pretty much replaced as soon as I got it. This is the pochette that comes with my Neverfull. Uh, so I have the Neverfull GM, so it's a really large pochette, and as you can see, it is bigger than the Palace, but I kid you not, this covers so many more items and functionalities than this does. So this I think is really cute, and I think you can definitely carry this on its own as a little clutch or wristlet, but if you look at the side, that's where your difference lies. Look at the thickness of this and the thinness of this. This, you're just looking at putting very flat things in there. Paperwork, I still do use this as a document holder, but it doesn't serve all the functions that this baby can. So if I just show you what fits inside here. Ooh, no, we'll do unboxing and then I'll show you what fits inside here. Um, at some point as well, I'm gonna do a video on how I travel because I carry quite a lot of LV items when I'm traveling, which was a source of amusement on a holiday of how much of my stuff coordinates. Uh, but I have like a little system because prior to the past few months, I've never really traveled that much. I'm a homebody, I like staying at home. I don't like going away that often. But me and Mark wanted some time together and if we stay in the house, we'll both end up working. So we literally just did this 30th birthday trip away where we spent time together. And then I've had to go on a few trips for work. I've had to go, uh, well, I had to go away with friends. It was, it was very sad. And so I've kind of over the past couple of months used this one an awful lot and it has been brilliant. So I want to show you how it ties in with all my other stuff. But yeah, let's move on to the unboxing. That's the best bit as much as I love it. So this item is from Switzerland, Ingestad, And I bought this after much consideration and then just Trains, trains today. This is the second time I've tried to film because of trains. Um, <laughs> this is the item that I bought. Now, when I did my unboxing of my Alma PM, which I'm completely in love with, um, I talked about getting a wallet to match it, and I got some amazing help. And there was a really good post from Deborah Wilde, 
uh, which I got after I bought this item. So I was a little bit frustrated because I was like, oh, I might have changed what I got. But I'll show you what I've got and then I'll explain why I went for it. So, da -da -da, if I show you the item. Whoa! I do just love the boxings of these like small SLGs and the mini, mini dust bags. I think are adorable. So, I got da -da, this, which is the Victorine wallet in the rose ballerine lining with the monogram canvas. So, if this looks familiar from my videos, that might be because just put my keys in it. My little six ring key holder is the exact same print. So I was going for a little bit of coordination here. And actually, if you, as you can see, they're not that massively different in size. So the reason I went for this is because my current wallet is like this. Look at it, it's full of rubbish. Um, it's completely overloaded, completely massive and doesn't fit in anything. And more to the point, does not fit in this baby and I just find I'm increasingly not using my wallet because it's so big it's so heavy and it takes over my bags I've also started using my bag organizer in my speedy which again I'll do a video on because it's completely changing the way I'm doing my bag and I'm getting sick sick of that <laughs> wallet so I went for this now if I'd read Deborah Wells post sooner about how the vernis is actually quite scratch resistant I may have got it in the Amaranth Verney to match my Alma, but I'm pointing over there because my Alma's behind the lights. <laughs> but I, I'm kind of glad I've got it in the canvas because it's cheaper and we're in the process of buying a house, so we want to save money. Uh, and also because I'll just transfer it from bag to bag. I do kind of wish I got it in the Verney, but I am glad I saved the money. And I've watched, sorry to keep name dropping other people here today, but Andre's videos about trying to return items to Louis Vuitton. I have returned one item before, which I bought off the internet, which I had no problems with whatsoever. But I think if I tried to return this now for the Amron, I don't think I'd be successful in another country because also I have to re-register with Louis Vuitton each time I buy abroad. Um, so I don't think you can exchange it when you're in a different country, which is a bit annoying. So, oh well, stuck with it, quite happy anyway, because I do think it's really, really cute and I will definitely get my use out of it. So I'm going to load it up today and start using it. Uh, I actually bought this while we were, I'll get to show you in a second, <laughs> I actually bought this while we were in Switzerland because I was somehow one of the sensible ones on the holiday and I was put in charge of the kitty. So because there were four of us and we were going out and buying stuff as a group all the time, rather than each individually paying, we just ploughed all our money together. And then I paid for it as the group from the kitty. So I had money f that was my own, money from the kitty. And then as the sensible one, I kept getting money from the other girls for other things as well. So I just couldn't keep track of everything. I didn't have my big wallet and I was trying to use a key clay to hold my money, which just didn't go well at all. So that's why I felt the need to purchase this and why I was again able to bear, uh, break my bag buying ban, imposed until June or until we buy the house, um, to get this much needed item. Sorry for all the rabbiting, let's get to the item. So you have your press stud on the front here. And inside you've got your rose ballerine lining. I need to go get this stamped. And then inside you have your wallet. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, and another three card holder slots there. And then you also have kind of a hidden compartment under there. You also have your kind of cash area up here. And then you have a long zip pull there. If you open that up, you have your little coated fabric cowhide leather lining card and you have a nice little uh, compartment in there for change and um, that's actually quite nice hmm that is quite nice so yes that is the very simple item um lovely pressed i think it's very cute so the whole reason i got this was because it would fit in my palace clutch I really hope it fits in my palace clutch now, otherwise my logic is gone and I hope Mark isn't watching this video. So this looks promising. Ooh, it fits on its side really neatly in there. 
that's really cute so of course it would fit the other way around as well but if we're just trying to fit as much as possible in the pals clutch that fits in really neatly if I also take my six ring key holder that only has two keys in it and pop that in next to it wow and I also have my little Chanel uh, card holder which is full of cards and I use this quite a lot which if I'm using a smaller wallet I'll definitely need to always have this with me as well does that fit in? this is too much, let's see oh! we've got all three of those in there can I zip it up? yes I can, so that is what it looks like it is full, don't get me wrong, that is one end that is the other end so it's slightly fuller there because of the uh, Chanel but that fits really well and look it still looks cute and because it's a super light bag it's not too heavy that is really nice now if I wanted my phone as well still haven't got my phone cover that I'm dying for if you watch my wishlist video but if I slot will my phone slot in the front it will slot that way but no it won't fit so if I take out my I don't think it will fit in. If I take out my Chanel card holder, slot my phone in. This is the 6S Plus, so it's the massive phone. As you can see there, that fits in really comfortably. There is absolutely tons of room in there. I'm sure I could put other items. What other items have I got to show you what fits in? Hmm. I have a Mac Compact. Let's see if we can slot that in as well. Hmm. The only way I can get that in is to kind of deform the front pocket and put it in. But even then, it doesn't look that bad, it doesn't look great. <laughs> it's had better days, but if you needed that item, you could fit it in. If I just show you what kind of does fit in that front uh, front pouch, hmm, what could I find? Bear with me. So as example items, I have come up with the Touche Claire. You know what I mean. The reason I did German and not French at school. That fits in really nicely. I've got my Clarins eyeliner. Yes, that is the eyeliner to avoid. <laughs> I like it. It's not a good recommendation for Clarins. And uh, my YSL kind of lip oil. With all three of those popped in there. Look how much you can get in this thing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And it's such a teeny little bag. It's adorable! I really love it. I think it's great. I would totally get this again if I didn't have it. Would I get it in a different colour though? Hmm, maybe. Because if you look on the Louis Vuitton website, particularly if you get like the pink one, they also do kind of, I'm not usually into like tassels and things, but they do like a canvas tassel with a pink top, which is adorable. And you get little accessories, which I think look so, so nice. Like they also do the uh, mirror charm, which I think would be adorable because that's in pink as well and that would match the pink. And I'm going through a bit of a pinky phase at the moment, so I would really like that. I didn't, at the time, have the choice of getting the other colours. We just had black and red. Uh, I don't wear red because I'm quite pinky skinned and it just doesn't look right on me at all. It just doesn't look nice. I would have thought about the blue as well, just for novelty value. I definitely, if I was in the US, would have thought about some of the other colours, like the purple. Um, so yeah, there's loads of options. So I didn't show you before, but to see what it looks like as kind of a little clutch. That is what it would look like. There you go, me holding it. <laughs> Don't know if that makes any difference to you. But I think it's adorable. And look how much I've got in there. And it's not too heavy. And even the stuff in this front pouch, so you saw I put three makeup items in there. How good is that? This this is a brilliant, brilliant bag. And um, so yeah, and as if I have to remind you what's in there, two items and my phone buy it just go go get it i think this bag is amazing for anyone who's traveling a lot and needs a bag that's just functional in multiple different settings i think it's amazing for anyone who likes louis vuitton i think it's amazing as well if you want to start a collection and you want something that's relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other bags i mean it's not cheap by any stretch of the imagination but it is relatively inexpensive so there you have it the palace one piece of canvas clutch with lots of items inside of it. And you've also seen my new little wallet, so I will be loading it up uh, to see exactly how much I can get in there. Um, but I just feel so free that I'm getting rid of 
this because even with this massive wallet um, I'm still using this on top of it because it's just so messy and then why not just get something smaller I'm hoping to replace at least at least that and just have these SLGs a little bit more flexibility so what I tend to do is carry all my kind of vouchers uh, card, uh, store cards and things in this and then carry all my like proper financially things so my bank cards and things in my normal wallet that's how I'm planning to play it and uh, so yeah and hopefully getting some weight off my shoulder in some of my other bigger bags so yes I'm really excited to try this out I've just it's been crazy so it's been sat in a box for ages so yeah Woo! So yeah, that is today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I will be moving house soon so I can start doing my closet. I'm so excited. So I'm going to design a closet from scratch. Uh, I'm not going to be spending a lot of money on it. I'm going to do something relatively inexpensive. I'm watching so many closet videos right now. So we're going to have a room that will eventually if we have children would be used for children but that's not happened yet so for now it is going to be a closet so I'm going to make a temporary but nice closet room and um, so hopefully you can follow that soon but I think my next video will be all about how I travel with LV and what I use and how I use it and so yeah that is it hope you've enjoyed today's video I'll speak to you guys soon and also cannot wait to do a review of my Alma PM in love with a bag, completely and utterly. I know I say this all the time, but it's different every time. It's completely different love, so yeah. I'm a crazy bag lady. Right, speak to you soon. Hope you're having a great week.